music and politics to talk about tonight. Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation, joining us live now from Washington. Margaret, good to see you. A bipartisan effort on Capitol Hill this week with emergency funding to fight the coronavirus uh, being passed by the president. What's the latest on the government's effort to stop the spread? Well, the federal government response, as you just indicated, was today the president signed into law uh, a more than $8 billion emergency funding uh, bill that will provide all sorts of cushions, all sorts of resources, um, but also perhaps the ability for small businesses to take loans uh, as they try to uh, buttress against any kind of economic uh, shortfalls uh, that could happen because of this uncertainty surrounding the virus and when it will be contained. I know in Miami or in the Florida area tomorrow, you will have the vice president. Cruise industry. From the travel industry uh, writ large about how much they are feeling the pinch and what they are doing uh, in their own private capacity to try to limit risk to American passengers. So there's a lot of conversation about the federal response and how much coordination there is at the state level. Today, you also the White House indicate they might provide some kind of financial relief for big businesses. That wasn't in the law, but that is something that the president's economic advisor said they are talking about at this point. All right, Margaret, let's talk politics now. After Super Tuesday, this appears to be a two-man race, Bernie Sanders versus uh, Joe Biden. What can you expect from the candidates going forward? Well, uh, we've got another nine months to go here, but for the two Democrats who are really uh, fighting it out, Joe Biden, who leads with uh, about 614 delegates uh, versus Bernie Sanders, who has 536, they've got to try to build support going into July to that convention when Democrats gather to decide who can best represent their party. Uh, so J Joe Biden's got to build that number up to that benchmark level uh, of uh, close to to 2,000 delegates. So there is still a lot of race to be run here. You've got Michigan and Missouri, those primaries coming up quite soon. This is not over yet, and Joe Biden needs to build uh, out his campaign, bring more people on board, fundraise in order to stay viable. Because remember, it wasn't just, it was a little over a week ago when we were talking about uh, his fundraising problems. Now that other Democrats have dropped out and are supporting him, uh, he has to make up for that shortfall and may benefit uh, from the fact there are fewer people in that moderate lane challenging him. All right, Margaret Brennan and Florida voters get their say 11 days from now. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Margaret. And catch her on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030. Among her guests this week, Senator Chris Murphy.